Hi everyone, Neil Malik from Knack Training bringing you another everyday office video. As you can see here, I have a PowerPoint slide up and what we're going to use in this video is a combination of PowerPoint's Morph Transition, uh, which is available to you in Excel, I mean uh, PowerPoint 2013 and 16, as well as hyperlinks to create a very organic feeling navigation system. So the example that I've got here is a list of people, right? And it's very possible that we want to be able to describe in more detail each of these individual people. Now we could go linearly through and, and now talk about Ingrid and then talk about Carly and then talk about Rachel, or we could show everybody at the same time and then create a navigation system that lets us investigate each of the people more thoroughly and sort of bounce back and forth. To do this, what you can see here is uh, if I put my mouse over Ingrid's face, you see her face is a hyperlink uh, by the little hand that shows up there. And when I click on Ingrid's face, you can see that not only does her picture grow in size, but it goes from being black and white to full color. It drops off the border that's around the outside edge. And the other two people uh, that were on the slide dropped off the bottom of the slide. And so here, if I go to Ingrid's slide and I want to talk more about her, you can see that she's obviously in focus. Then I've also made a link, as you can see over here, the big blue box on the left is also a hyperlink. And if I click on it, then Ingrid goes back to being smaller and black and white. Um, and Carly and Rachel both slide back onto the slide. And again, clicking on Carly, grows, colorizes, drops off the border, um, the, the text box slides over here, and again, I can navigate back. And it feels very organic to have the different options sort of slide out of the way, and for the thing that we want to focus on to take front, uh, front and center. So how do I make that happen? Let's start off, as you can see up here, I've got a slide that's just starting off with the the pictures themselves. Let's start from that point and let's make sure we unhide the slide. So we have these three people and we want to be able to go from full size pictures of these people to small size pictures of these people. It's probably in my best interest to take a second here and just hit control D for each of the different people as well as the navigation system. So if we think of uh, the sixth slide as being our menu, if you will, uh, where each of the three people is on the slide at the same time, then slide seven is going to be about uh, the redhead, uh, slide eight is going to be about the blonde woman, and slide nine is going to be about the last woman in the blue jacket. Okay, so those are the four slides we're going to make because we have three individual slides and then one menu slide. At this point, we can take a second in each of these slides, set it up so that not only does the slide look right, but also we know what the transition is going to be like. Let me give you an example of that. On slide number seven, slide seven is intended to be focused on the redheaded woman. So her picture should definitely go up here towards the top and it should grow out in size to sort of fill the space. And we'll definitely, you know, put her name and, and all that other stuff on the slide as well. But the other thing that needs to happen is that the blonde woman and the woman in the blue jacket here, they are going to go off the slide when the redheaded woman becomes the focal point. And so we have to ask ourselves, how would we like that to happen? Would we like them to slide off to the right or to the bottom or whatever? And so I'm going to take the uh, blonde woman here and I do want to make sure that I hold down the shift key on my keyboard so that it, she goes straight down off the slide. And the same thing here, the brunette woman goes all the way off the slide to the bottom. And then for slide eight, we make the ba same basic thing happen, right? The redheaded woman goes off the slide to the bottom. The uh, woman in the blue jacket goes off the slide to the bottom. Oops, I'm sliding this too far. There we go. And of course, the blonde woman takes the focal point of the slide. So she slides over here and grows in size. And then finally, slide number nine, the redheaded woman goes off the slide to the bottom. The blonde woman goes off the slide to the bottom. And then 
the brunette woman here with the jacket, she slides up into place and grows to fill the space there. Okay. And on slide number six, our menu slide, here we can go ahead and do the sort of uh, changes to the photos we were looking for. Uh, so here what I'm going to do is I'm going to crop it down to a one by one square like that. Crop this down to a one by one square. And crop this one to a one by one square. Okay. I want to make sure that they're each the same size. So I'll take the first person here and make her simply two inches by two inches. Make this one. I probably should have left them there, two inches by two inches. Um, and the first woman over here, two inches by two inches. Okay. And, uh, you know, you could do other things too, like uh, we did black and white for these pictures. That would be a fine thing to do. And maybe also put a border around the outside edge of those pictures. So maybe like a, a red border that's really thick, like that, okay? And maybe do a drop shadow. Great. And I can just use my format painter here to apply it to this picture and format paint that picture right there. Man, that red looks really awful. All right, I'm not gonna be able to live with myself if I stick with that. All right, uh, gold is a little better, so we'll do that. Okay, and uh, now you can sort of arrange them however you like. There we go. There we go. And we're gonna leave off the text boxes for right now. All we wanna focus on is the pictures changing over time. So all we have to do now is select slides six through slide nine. So including the menu, as well as the three individual slides describing each of those folks, uh, go to the transitions tab up here at the top of the screen and just click morph. And now if I start from slide six, let's go ahead and start from here. If I move forward in this, you can see that she grows in size to fill the space. The other two slide off the screen, right? So just like that. And then if I keep going forward, and if I keep going forward, I can get this very smooth transition between each of these. But I now want to be able to click on each of their pictures and have it go to their specific slides immediately. So to make that happen, I use hyperlinks. So I'll go here to slide number six, click on the uh, first woman's picture, go to my um, insert tab up here at the top of the screen and choose link, or just control K on your keyboard is the other way to do this. And for her picture, she needs to go to slide number seven. So a different place in this document, which is slide number seven, there it is, click OK, and just repeat for the other two. Slide number eight and slide number nine. And the last thing I need to do to be able to complete the navigational system is give each of the slides their own way back. So at this point, I'll just make a big rectangle, fill that rectangle in with the same color as this blue box over here, just to make it as easy as possible on me. And again, click on it, use Control K to insert a hyperlink. And for the pick, clicking on this uh, little button on the left, I wanna go to slide number six and click OK. I'll make sure to send that to the back and then copy, copy it so that I can paste it on slide number seven. And again, send it to the back and paste it on slide number eight and send it to the back and paste it on slide number nine and send it to the back. So now again, if I start on slide number six, I can click on the blonde woman's picture. She'll take center stage here. I can throw in the text boxes or anything else I want at that point, but then I can click back on the link and the pictures go back to their normal status. And so each one of these people take center stage and then fade back, take center stage, and then fade back.
So by creating a system that moves organically using hyperlinks and simply applying the morph transition to every one of the slides, it tells PowerPoint to pay attention to how we would transition between one and the next.